All right, everybody, so now we're gonna be doing the cool down. So the cool down is gonna be around about six minutes long. There's 12 exercises, and we're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds. My athletes are gonna be joining me. They're gonna be demoing the exercises also, so just follow along. The first exercise is gonna be have your feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna reach across our body with the right arm. Our left hand's gonna be down. Before we start, let me get the timer going for you. So a cool down is very important to do after your workout. It's just as important as the work as the warm up is. So you're, you're going to be shoulder width apart, left arm in line with your left knee, and your right arm goes across the left side of your body. So we're stretching that outside ab muscles, your obliques. Try to keep your chest facing forward, Mila. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, keep your arm up straight, Griff. There you go. Hold it, almost there guys. And time, shake it out. We're gonna do now, we're gonna do the opposite side. So feet shoulder width apart, right hand in line with your right knee on the outside, and your left arm is across to the right side of your body. So a cool down is very important to do after a workout so that your muscles kind of flush out that blood and the lactic acid so that the next time you do a workout you're a little bit more fresh and you have less chance of getting injured. So next exercise is going to be a shoulder stretch. Your right arm is going to cross the left side of your body or left arm is going to go across the, um, the midi part of your forearm and then you're going to pull your arm into your body nice and tight. Then you go hug, the, hug your right arm into your body so you feel on the outside of your shoulder, your deltoid. Perfect. Good job guys. There you go. Good, hug your arm nice and tight. I'll shake it out, nice and loose. Then we'll do the opposite side. So left arm goes across your body. Hug that left arm into your body with your right arm. Go on the outside of that left shoulder. Shake your arms out nice and loose. Now we're gonna move on to the lower body. So your legs are gonna be nice and straight, slight bend in the knee. You're gonna be tilting from your hips. Arms are nice and loose. You're gonna be hanging over your, up, um, your lower body and then just rotate out to the right side, out to the left side. So we're stretching your hamstrings and your lower back. Just hang out nice and loose. Get a good stretch in that lower part of your hamstring. And time, good. All right, so the next exercise is gonna be a downward dog. So we're gonna be on a push-up position. You're gonna have your feet a little bit closer to your body. Your hips are gonna be up to the sky. You're gonna be driving those heels down to the ground. You can alternate your feet back and forth. You get a little extra stretch in those calves. Okay, so scoot your feet a little closer to your body. Straighten those legs, there you go. Good, you got it. And time. So now we're going to be lying on our side. Our left leg is going to be straight. Our left arm is going to be in line with the ground. And then we're going to be pulling our foot back into our butt muscles. And we're pushing our hips forward and push that foot into your hand. Good job, guys. So, Graham, going to gra grab your toe, um, your foot, your laces, your shoelaces on your shoe. There you go. So you should feel on the front part of your thigh, your upper um, leg, your quadriceps, and also your hips. Good, so switch sides, so rotate to the opposite side of your body. Right arm on the ground, left leg up. Good job. Push that shoelaces into your hand. Right the side. Good job, guys. Perfect, all right, the next exercise is gonna be a lying pigeon. So your leg is gonna be straight, you're gonna have a bend in that right knee, your right foot's gonna go with the right anchor on top of your left thigh, hands through your legs, one on the outside, one through the middle, and then grab that knee into your chest. Good job, guys, well done. If you're having trouble grabbing your knee, you can also grab the hamstring of your left arm, or your left leg, sorry, 
and pull that knee into your chest. You should feel on the outside of your right leg and your right thigh. Good, so we're switching legs now. Left leg goes on top of your right thigh. The left hip is a little bit more tight than our left. Our right. Good job, guys. And squeeze that knee into your chest. Perfect. All right, last exercise, you're gonna be sitting up nice and tall. Your left leg's gonna be straight. Your right leg's gonna go across that left leg and then hug that right knee into your chest. Give your knee a big, nice hug. Good job, guys. We'll try to get it all nice and hug. There you go. Good. Keep it nice and tight. This is the last exercise, so hopefully you're feeling nice and cooled down. Your muscles a little bit more relaxed. Good, switch. So right leg is straight, left leg goes over your right. Hug that left knee into your body. out nice and loose. Let's stand up. So very good. So hopefully you had a good cool down after your workout and after your warm up. So thank you Beckett. Good job. Thank you Mila. Thank you Kenzie and thank you Graham. Well done.